Handoni, good afternoon. Great to see you. Good afternoon. Um, I guess we'll start with the transfer window, which is which is now open, and, and fans are, are desperately hanging on on every word that you say with regards to potential incomings. There was a story that, that broke on social media last night about a young 19-year-old midfielder, Oscar Zambrano, uh, who's currently at Quito. Can you, can you give us an update? Uh, the club are looking to bring someone in. Could he be a player that could be one for the future? Yeah, obviously it's difficult for me to talk about individual situations, you know, because otherwise you will ask me for the next one and for the next one, and uh, they, they are players that are not ours. I, I know the player, he's a really good player for, for his age, and um, but I cannot uh, tell you anything else. You know, I I I can speak about the players we, we have right now, and I cannot uh, get more into more details with players that are not ours. But I guess he would fit the profile of what this club has done in the summer. Young, exciting players that you can work with on the training pitch, you can develop. And, and that's, I guess, what you'd be looking for as the head coach, to see those types of players come into the club during this window or in the summer. Yes, I think recently, uh, last market, I think the club has signed really young players, really young players that uh, uh, we think uh, they can evolve into into even better players, uh, but I cannot uh, tell you anything else. Yeah. Let's talk about the players you can talk about. There's been a lot of speculation with regards to Kiefer Moore and interest from Championship clubs. I know he scored in the Premier League this season and been in and amongst the the squad on on most match days. Is he a player you'd like to keep, or do you understand that he might want to play regular football? Yeah, I think he was. He was close, no, in the summer market to to leave the club. I think uh, uh, between every part, we all decided he he stayed with us. I think he has been uh, helping a lot the team. Probably not playing as many minutes as he wants, but uh, Dom has been really performing in a, in a in a very good level. And for me, it's difficult not to to take him out from the from the game. We play just with one forward sometimes with two and we put them together when we have to to turn our, our result but it's it will be something that uh, he will have a lot to say about this for me it's uh, the most important part to listen to the players how they see themselves with their roles more or less everyone knows their their roles obviously some players will prefer to stay try to improve their roles win more minutes other ones will prefer to leave for, 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 for different places where they think probably they can play more and there after after the, the players' opinion then the clubs start to negotiate and then they have to make the numbers work and there are a lot of things in, involved but uh, it's normally the first thing and the most important thing is what the, the players think. And just finally on the, the transfer situation, I know that there's been a lot of interest in Lloyd Kelly, who's entered the last six months of his current Bournemouth deal. Interest from AC Milan, Juventus, Stuttgart. Of course, he's a quality player. He's been injured recently. Is he back training now and fit? And, and how is his mindset? Because when there's a lot of speculation, it can be difficult as a player. Yeah, if I said it before, for me, he's one of our best players. He has been really good when he has been part of the, of the team. Uh, and luckily for us, he has been injured quite a lot lately. Uh, he's not still with the group, and I think he's he's improving a lot. He's uh, uh, already running outside by his own, but he has still some some ticks to do before he he joins with the with the group. And I think it's something that uh, we have to accept. So, uh, it always happens in all the all the markets and I don't think it will affect his his performances. Thank you very much for, for the updates there. Um, obviously the FA Cup is an exciting competition and we know your philosophy on the Cups. You want to go as far as you can, you want to create history, you want to, to bring some, some excitement to the, to the fans. So I guess does that mean that you'll be looking to, to select your strongest side for Queen's Park Rangers tomorrow or will you be looking to give some of those players that haven't played as much in the Premier League, the opportunity to show you what they can do? I think we will follow more or less what we did in the Carabao Cup. I think uh, we have to choose very well. Uh, and then I think we will make some changes, but we want to win the game. We want to win the game. This is the number one priority. And uh, 
for sure some players will have maybe more opportunities than in the league games but uh, we 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 want to go there and and win the the right to play in the in the next round no in the cup competitions are like this we just have one game guaranteed it's tomorrow and we cannot make mistakes because in the cup competitions you cannot look very far because you you lose your mind for three minutes and you are out what have you learned about queen's park rangers they've had a, a difficult season in the championship they've not learned one in their last six matches in the league and uh, obviously they've changed managers changed style so it could be quite a, a challenge to go to loftus road but again you're going to a team that are not very confident at the moment uh, i think they've improved a lot uh, even last couple of results have not been good i think uh, you see more detailed stats they are not conceding goals i think or we've almost analyzed the, the games they played with the new manager, they are just struggling with the set pieces. But I think in the last games, they are not even conceding in open play uh, uh, open play goals. So defensively, I think they have improved a lot. They have increased a lot the the possession. They I think they want more control games. Uh, they play quite a four three three, quite positional very good inside players powerful players and i think uh, we have to be at our at our best because uh, i don't see them like a like a relegation team right now uh, they are there of course but i think they are playing uh, much better lately than it looks uh, according to the results and uh, as, as the coach said i think yesterday they've been very punished with the with the set pieces and just finally for me, team news, obviously I know you've got players going off to the Africa Cup of Nations, you've got players in the treatment room, players coming back. Can you try and give us as much detail about who's available, who's missing and, and who's not going to be here? Uh, yeah, we are we're quite thin right now. We are quite thin because we lose from the other day Dango and Ant with the... Uh, Dango is actually injured. I hope he can recover and help his national team, but it, it's not clear. It's not clear, and it's obviously outside. We have a couple of players also that finish with the small issues from the from the other day against the Spurs that we have to to see if they can help us tomorrow. Who are, who are those two? Uh, I cannot tell you. I cannot okay. tell you because if they play, <laughs> they will know. They are playing with a uh, with a issue. No, I prefer. We have to decide before I tell you. But uh, we, I don't think we are not we are recovering anyone else from the other day. So uh, right now we are we are quite thin. But uh, I, I I hope we are uh, enough uh, to to go tomorrow and, and win the game. Thank you very much. Good luck. Okay. Thank you. Antonio, you may come up against a couple of ex Bournemouth players in Asmir Begovic and Steve Cook, who gave great service t to this club. Do you think that? ex-players always have a little point to prove when they're facing a former club do you think obviously it's gonna be special for them if they play no i think uh, whenever you have the chance to play against your former club i think they've been all very important in the last years of the of the club and if, if they have the chance to play for sure they are waiting for the game they will recognize a lot of familiar faces and uh, it's always nice when you have the chance to play against a uh, former club yeah in england we call it the greatest cup competition in the world i think we like to build it up like that what have you um got any memories at all of the fa cup would you have for me it's a new experience uh, i think uh, it's also a different format and uh, this rule about the replays, you know, if you tie, is is new for for the ones that we come from the outside, and uh, we will have to learn quickly, adapt quickly. I think it's a competition with a big history behind, and it's the big cup here. But we only have guaranteed one game. We have to earn the right to to continue and and and, and have bigger hopes. We won't get the chance to speak to you before the uh, youth team play in the FA Youth Cup away to Newcastle as well. They did very well in the last round to beat West Brom, a Category 1 team. They're doing very well in their league as well. Just 
just give us uh, just give us a word on them or a bit of support for them if you like ahead of that really big game yeah for sure for them it will be a big big game because whenever you are young and you start playing against these top teams you know in in this these competitions no you the fake up no you you tell the name against newcastle against this it sounds big no and i hope they can they can they can play well they can perform well they are doing really well uh, for sure it's gonna be tough it has to be tough but uh, it, it's gonna be a good a good lesson for them for sure yeah